Inside the federal courthouse Friday, this man, Luis Frias, appears before a federal judge. Frias, captured this week near Guadalajara, Mexico, stands accused of killing his ex-wife, Jeanette Reyna, in 2013, stabbing her more than 40 times in front of her children. The handcuffs that were issued to Janet Reyna when she was a Blackwell police officer were placed on Mr. Frias in a symbolic gesture to honor Ms. Reyna and her family. And that's probably the best way we can continue to honor Ms. Reyna is to continue our efforts to combat domestic violence. U.S. Marshal Johnny Kuhlman says Frias had been living and working in Guadalajara. A crucial tip came from a viewer watching Reyna's story featured on the new show In Pursuit with John Walsh. The Investigation Discovery Channel started airing John Walsh's new show in Mexico on January the 31st. And that's where the beauty and strength of the United States Marshal Service was displayed. You know, we knew that Mr. Frias had some family living in that area, so our Metro Fugitive Task Force had already involved our Mexican investigative liaison. In court Friday, Frias requested to remain in federal custody, telling the judge he feared for his life in Kay County, where he has already been charged with first-degree murder. Obviously, after five years, uh, it was somewhat frustrating that Mr. Mr. Frias was not in custody, and now we thank to all the good work that those people have done, we at least can move forward with this. The U.S. Marshal's office says Frias' arrest sends a clear message. This fugitive will face justice here in Oklahoma, and hopefully that sends a strong message and clear message that justice has no boundaries. Now, it was almost three months ago to this date when the U.S. Marshals announced that Frias would be on their list of the 15 most wanted. I'm told many remain on that list for decades. We're live in downtown Oklahoma City. Lily Zhang, Oklahoma's News 4. Thank you.